this is uh, the exhibition of my artwork mostly collected during last 5 years i have been doing drawing and painting for uh, last 30 years but last 5 years i have been concentrating on my response to the environment basically the climatic changes taking place and uh, my own observation about the nature and uh, as i look at the nature i realize that there are so much of similarity between uh, human beings and the nature sometimes in my painting you will see and you will wonder whether this is abstract painting of uh, natural forms like mountains rivers or trees and sometimes you'll find that uh, human figures also emerges in abstract form so as i see as, a, as an artist i see that uh, there is a, a harmony between nature and human beings and at the same time i can see also the kind of destruction greed of human being has done to the nature and it's not merely uh, environment as i'm searching but as as a child i was uh, drowned in a river near mumbai city and that was really a traumatic experience for me actually it was a death in front of my own eyes like i was facing death so as an artist as an uh, author of creative writings that particular instance has really made a terrible impact on me so initially i was scared of nature especially of rivers and i used to avoid rivers but so initially i was scared of nature especially of rivers and i used to avoid rivers but somehow i learned swimming and then i fell in love with river it became my own passion that wherever i went whether city or small villages or big metropolis across the globe i visited i used to go and uh, and go to the banks of river and those uh, the visits to the bank of river has become a kind of a spiritual experience to me because i could uh, i could experience life i could see how life and the human civilization is nourished at the same time it also has got tremendous power to dis- to destroy because i had gone to assam where i saw no woods no forest but only remains of a destroyed and uh, deserted city then i realized that the the river had changed its bank and it has totally wiped out the entire village from its bank so then i have been uh, trying to search myself like why it is happening how it is happening so i realized that it's not merely human being <coughs> which are responsible for destruction of the nature or the surrounding environment but i am wondering whether even the nature itself has got its own clock which ticks on we are not aware of it and uh, we really wonder what will happen to the to the life of the earth to our own solar system and then i realized that uh, what is life what is time all of seeing as a as an artist i'm trying to uh, penetrate and depict those ideas through my abstract forms could you uh, tell us more about these paintings yes this is a bend in river as i was telling that uh, you will very rarely find the use of stark yellow it is very difficult and nobody uses yellow like this but this is if you see that it is recurring almost uh, most of my painting because this is happening because this is the impact of uh, the the river and especially my search that uh, saraswati river which disappeared thousands of years ago so when i start the painting it's all spontaneous i don't uh, preconceive i don't uh, make any drawing or i don't make any ideas so when i stand in front of a canvas the canvas is also empty and and my mind is also empty so when canvas is also empty and mind is also empty i think that's the beginning of creative process then what you do like how you paint what colors you choose and what forms come out these are all process of uh, a creative process which is very difficult to analyze and put into a jacket kind of form so you can find the spontaneity in the paintings you stand before a painting of mine and look at it 
and you can experience if you feel something when you look at the painting then i as an artist i think that's my achievement that my painting can speak with the audience who look at it stare at it then try to speak times people are asking me question like uh, what is my feeling or how do i paint but i think it's a very difficult question to answer because i myself don't know in a sense uh, that is very difficult to tell what kind of process goes behind your subconscious here yeah, what i write so this is a frozen city like uh, this is kind of my own imagination i have been reading and i have been writing i have uh, uh, visited uh, Switzerland and all, where the ice is a major form. So when people talk about warming effect, you know, climatic changes, but ultimately this is how I perceive it. You know. So there's always contrast, like when you talk about the heat of the, the earth, it will also freeze to this kind of level. So there are two extremes. This is uh, one of my favorite uh, paintings, uh, where I have uh, depicted a uh, whole study of uh, forest you know i have read uh, upanishads you know, this is one of the longest upanishads and uh, on that basis i mean i didn't perceive it but when i when i started uh, painting those were thoughts and those were the studies i had done so it came out in the in the different forms and colors so these are also like uh, when you see at the, at the sky it's never never stands still Sky, sky is also always changing, but unless you look at it, you never will feel or never will be aware about changing surroundings. 